Last weekend at Eurovision in concert he reminded the Eurovision fandom just how good he is live as he performed Outlinem, the country rock number he'll sing for the Netherlands. And on Wednesday Whalen kept the momentum going with the release of his official music video for the song, which once again shows the Dutch star doing things his way. The video starts with Whalen wearing all black and driving into a one-horse town on his motorcycle. He starts rebelling early by lighting a cigarette inside of a church, much to the consternation of the presiding priest. Whalen exits and drives through some stunning vistas of the American West, all interspersed with images of other rebels, a loose term for people doing things on their terms or shaking up expectations. We see a priest hanging himself, black and white images of gangsters that nod to Bonnie. Whalen's video comes just days after Eurovision in concert, where, besides singing for the crowd, he also met with Wiwi blogger William. So how does a Dutchie become a prominent country music singer? I was six years old and I started playing drums, and I couldn't play a lick. Pop music was very difficult to play with. I'm not the kind of guy that has the discipline to go to lessons. I just want to play. I got introduced to country music, it had three chords. Simple melodies. It was about the truth. It was easy to play drums with that music. It allowed me to develop my skills. For years the Dutch media and Eurovision fans have dissected his musical breakup with Ilse de Lange, the woman with whom he placed second at Eurovision 2014. He has a witty response when asked if Eurovision will be easier without her, right now it's a good thing because she probably doesn't know the song. But, in all seriousness, he doesn't seem to have any hard feelings, or is at least very diplomatic. 2014 was a great year. It was a beautiful achievement and after that we both went our separate ways because we couldn't agree on a lot of things, which is okay, I always said I would love to, even before 2014, love to go to Eurovision. Because it's one of the biggest stages in the world for an artist. If you are who you are and don't give in to all the craziness that surrounds this and don't go searching for the perfect Eurovision song, I think you might do pretty good. That's what we proved in 2014. Ultimately though Eurovision isn't about coming home with a trophy. Nobody knows if you're going to win this contest and it's not about winning. Winning is more for the country. It would be great to have Eurovision in the Netherlands next year, that would be awesome. For me as an artist, I like the fact, I can bring my own music and the music I grew up with, and music that not a lot of people in Europe know about, to be an ambassador for that kind of music and breathe some new life into Eurovision, so who is the outlaw in him? I'm all outlaw. I like to do things my way. I've always been outside the written laws, not the laws, police and that kind of stuff, but the laws of making music. Everybody gives in to making a career. But if you don't really care about your career you start to care about other stuff. I care about my career in that way, it's important to keep it with music. I want to make the music I love. Do you think Waylon is as charming as we do? Are you loving that country twang? Let us know in the comments box below. Read more Netherlands Eurovision news.